Well, I got my Eastwood uh, surface conditioning tool a couple days ago uh, after spending about four days with an orbital sander to be able to do that. And that was after spending hours scraping the top layer of paint off with a paint stripper. And I quickly got tired of that. So I was looking for a better way to take the remaining paint and primer mostly off of the car. So I saw this thing uh, from Eastwood had really good reviews, uh, watched all the videos. Uh, but one of the things I noticed in the videos right away is that this, this thing spews out uh, paint dust or whatever it is that you're uh, sanding, the dust just shoots out of here like crazy. And since I'm in a very small, tight space, I didn't want to get paint dust everywhere. So the very first thing I did before I even uh, used this thing was figure out some kind of a way to put a vacuum attachment on there. So really this was just something quick to test the idea. I went out and got a, I think this is an inch and a quarter steel pipe fitting. I drilled a, uh, I can't remember if it was an inch and a quarter. No, it wasn't an inch and a quarter. It was whatever the next step down. Hold on. I drilled a inch. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus. Inch and... 730 seconds hole and that was just the right size uh, to match the opening of the uh, pipe fitting so I just did a quick tack I didn't even care like you can see there's uh, a big gap right there uh, but this was just a, a test and then I basically was able to screw in this attachment fitting and hold it in place and it attaches to any kind of shop vac hose and I tested it out on this fender. As you can see, it took the paint off, or took the, uh, it used to look like this everywhere. And now it looks like that. And this took me about maybe, maybe seven minutes to do, seven to 10 minutes. And uh, dust was non-existent. Um, you can see a little bit of dust is forming here where the hole is, you know, no big deal. I could either weld it all the way or seal it up. Uh, but hey, Eastwood, if you're looking or if you're listening, uh, some kind of attachment or different faceplate here uh, that would allow this to happen or would allow this to connect to a vacuum, I think uh, would make a lot of people happy, especially if you could somehow make this thing swivelable or lockable to go in different directions, depending on if you're left or right handed, because I hold it this way and I didn't want the hose out here, so I kept it off this way, but if I was holding it this way, I'd probably want the hose over here. So, uh, just something to think about. But otherwise, uh, tool works wonderfully, and I would highly recommend it. Thanks.